a Mealy Lunny native that first started playing golf at age four, won his first golf tournament at age six. Now, 23 years old and fresh off winning the state's top amateur golf crown, the 105th Monowa Cup two weeks ago, just the fifth UH alum to take the title, he's on quite the good run, also prevailing at Princeville in 2012. Next, he wants to go pro. Now, Jemai Webster, hit the links for Jared Sawada, our Hawaii MVP this week. You've had some time to think about your win at the Manoa Cup. What did it mean to win? Oh man, it was it was a great experience. Uh, so many people uh, told me congratulations. Atlanta, great job. Thank you. Great job. Proud of you. Makes me feel really good and uh, very grateful that I have such great friends. As a fourth seed through five matches at the Manoa Cup, Jared Sawada played his way into history and ahead of 63 others with the same goal to finish on top. What do you think that did for your confidence? Do you think it took you up a notch? Yeah, sure. I, I think it took me up a notch. It just it feels good going uh, to, to the golf courses and people recognizing me, saying good job, or people I don't even know. Jared. That kind of gives me a lot of confidence, kind of gives me a good feeling on the inside, you know? Four-year letterman at UH, Sawada posted 11 birdies during the finale, finishing at six under par in stroke play. And now, all he wants to do is continue to play good golf. I hope to play golf uh, every day this year, and every day next year, and every day the following year, and I hope to just keep playing good. Whether it's competitive or not, I just if I can golf every day, I'll be a happy person. Wake up, golf. Come home, sleep, wake up, golf. <laughs> That's the life of a pro. One day, he says, he hopes to join those ranks, trying in 2014 to tee off on the Japanese Pro Tour. If things go according to your design, how would you like to see things play out professionally? I'd like to be living in Japan, get and play some pro golf on the Japan Tour, and uh, with my friends, Corey, David, and uh, Richard. I think that'd be really fun. Since age four, that was his sole objective when playing this game. Sawada admits his resume may not be legendary just yet, but with the work he's putting in, you feel like your game, the way it's progressing, it can continue to strengthen? Yes, I definitely feel that I can. And uh, if I just keep progressing, keep uh, sticking to my schedule, things will work out. Yeah. His current timeline includes continuing work with his former teammates at UH. Everyone has their strengths and their weaknesses, so I can help others with their, their weaknesses while they can help me with mine. Which is why I took him up on that offer. Having hardly picked up clubs in my life, I've been told golf is nothing but a good walk spoiled. So I was hoping to help Jared think about his life after golf. Showed me a little bit of putting stroke, gave me a quick uh, five minute Jared to water lesson. Hi! Is maybe teaching the game something that you can see yourself doing as well? Um, no, I'm not no good teacher. I remember, <laughs> you only had put, put one ball in. <laughs> if I was a good teacher, you would have made them all. But, uh, no, I, I mean, I think there's players, I think there's teachers. Um, I think I'm more of a player than a coach. Truth about my game is out. <laughs> Here's to Jared Tawada, our Hawaii MVP this week. To my Webster, KITV4 Sports. Get the rain, baby. <laughs> Now, if any of you have ideas who we should feature as a Hawaii MVP, hit us up at KITV.com. On July 6th and 7th, Sawada will look to defend his crown on Kauai, then tries luck 11th through the 13th next month at the Barbers Point Invitational. Playing golf every day of his life. That would hey, he be thinks big, quite he a thinks life. good. That is a good life, isn't it? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Robert, for that. Well, Ray